Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's video. I scroll on TikTok a lot and I'm deep into book talk, specifically on TikTok. And I see so many different filters that are book related. There's bracket filters where you choose different books with your head. You can rank different books. You could choose which character in a book you are. Like there's a lot of filters that are book related. So I actually got this idea from someone, they DM'd me and I can't find the DM. So if this was you, shout out to you. They gave me the idea of letting book talk choose the books that I will be reading this week using a book talk filter. The one that I chose has a bunch of different ones for different genres so I wanted to do that one because I can use that filter and we can choose three different books for three different genres. So we are going to be using the book talk bracket. So basically it's a bunch of different genres. So I'm going to do fantasy first and then maybe romance and then maybe thriller or YA something like that. First I'm going to do fantasy because I'm in a little bit of a fantasy era right now. I'm in a fantasy mood. Essentially I could pick by the end of it what book I want to win kind of but they're going to give me the options. I'm going to do my little head thing and I'm gonna pick which ones I want to do. So we're gonna do fantasy first. Okay, I'm recording. Lies Lacamora from Blood and Ash. I heard from Blood and Ash is really good. So don't know what it's about, but I'm gonna pick it. Cersei and Starla Sea. This is like, has been popular since I like started reading again, but I'm pretty sure it's Greek mythology and I don't love Greek mythology. So I don't know what this is about, but I'm gonna pick it. Jade City, Robin Hobb. I'm going Jade City, I like that cover. Black Leopard, Red Wolf, Daughter of the Moon Goddess. I just go by covers. When I don't know what anything's about, I'm going by the cover. Mistborn, Gods of Jade and Shadow. I heard Mistborn was good. Ugh, Six of Crows. I wish I could pick Six of Crows, but I can't. I already read it. The Name of the Wind. A Curse So Dark and Lonely, Zodiac Academy. Okay. I have Zodiac Academy, but it's a really big series. Don't know if I want to get into that right now, but this cover looks cute. I don't know what it's about. A Curse So Dark and Lonely. Okay, fine. Zodiac Academy. <gasps> I can't because I've seen pictures of this book and I've seen it in Target and it's so thick. I also haven't putting this off for a hundred years, so invisible life. Okay, from Blood and Ash. Mm, I'm gonna go by covers. I kinda love this cover. Mistborn again, I heard it was good. Oh gosh, okay. I can't. Between these two, I'm like, one I've been putting off for so long, the other one I'm about to put off because of how big the series is, and I'm like, I don't know what I should do. Which one should I do? I think Zodiac. I think it'd be more entertaining. I heard that the other one's like a little bit slower. Okay. From Blood and Ash, I think. Um, Zodiac? Oh gosh, okay. From Blood and Ash or Zodiac Academy? Do I want to get into right now? I don't know if From Blood and Ash is a series or Zodiac Academy. I don't know. How do I pick? I think I'm gonna do From Blood and Ash. Am I gonna regret this? We'll find out. Okay. We have our winner. It's From Blood and Ash. You can't see because it's not on the face right now, but... Yay, let's let's go buy it. I don't even have this book, but we're gonna have to go buy it. From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Did she write? Wait, she also wrote The Problem with Forever. So she writes fantasy and I don't know what that is. Is that romance? I don't know, because I haven't read it yet. That's interesting. So I'm assuming this is gonna be a, is there a romance in here? I hope so. I'm gonna read the little description. Ooh. Okay, so there is a romance in here. That makes me excited. I was nervous I was gonna get a fantasy that was just like straight up fantasy, politics, all of that. But there's a romance and I've heard good things about this. So I'm excited. I'm hopeful. I'm gonna go order it. I'm gonna probably download it on my Kindle so that I'm able to start it today. But it has 4.27 stars. It's high up there. It has a lot of five star, five stars, five stars. Thumbs up for our first TikTok filter, book talk filter chosen book from Blood and Ash. I'm excited. Let's start. to give a little I guess like a first impressions kind of update my book comes tonight so I have been reading on my kindle on my computer kindle stuff my app like literally just been switching between different methods of kindle I got to page about 200 and this book is around 600 pages so not halfway just yet I'm hoping to get halfway by today I will say that I don't 
love it yet like i feel like nothing's happening like there's a lot of words but like nothing's happening really and i feel like it, it's kind of long so maybe it's like setting up for more to come plus it's a series so the first book may not be as interesting but i feel like i don't know if this is an unpopular opinion i feel like just because a book is part of a longer series i feel like that, that shouldn't make the first book or whatever not as entertaining as the rest of them i feel like that's what gets you in gets the readers in to want to continue the series like right now reading this i don't want to continue the series i don't really care that much i don't know and i don't know if it's the writing or if it's the storyline that's happening right now i feel like the little romance that i feel like is ensuing wasn't part of this i wouldn't care like i don't love the storyline i feel like nothing's really happening so that's what's going on right now in my head so far this is like a three star book so i'm hoping that proves me wrong i'm hoping that it picks up i'm only 200 pages out of 600 left so there's a lot of space for redemption there but yeah this is about poppy who is the maid there's only one maid in this little world and she's kind of held on like a higher ranking i guess you can say and she's fated to be ascended soon i don't know exactly what ascended means but she keeps talking about the ascension that's coming i think that means she becomes like a mortal something like that i don't know exactly but she keeps talking about it. it's literally all she's been talking about the whole time she's not allowed to speak to anyone or touch anyone or have anyone like touch her except like a select few of like the higher ups but then the love interest i guess you could say hawks becomes her guard so he kind of watches over her but they had a little interaction early on in the book so it's like he doesn't know that she's the maid but she knows him it's like this whole thing and i'm waiting for him to figure out that she is the maid because they have talked before so there's like little things that i know could happen in the future in the book that could be entertaining i'm just waiting for it to come so right now it's nothing crazy it's not very entertaining for me it's kind of slow just hoping it picks up that's all i'm waiting to get my book tonight then i'm gonna read some more i'll update you guys once i get further in hopefully things will look up from there but yeah that's all for me right now my paperback book my physical copy came last night i started reading it last night i was so excited but i read it quite a bit since yesterday i got to page 392 right now i'm in the middle of a very intense part of the book but my opinion is low-key still the same as yesterday even being like this far in definitely over halfway now the storyline has definitely picked up i still don't see where the story is going if that makes sense i don't understand i mean i understand like the point of all these characters and stuff but like i just can't see where it's going and i hope it doesn't take going into like the second the third the fourth book to find out so much more the little romance that's involved in here is pretty good i just have like a prediction of something involved i just have this like really strong inkling that i'm right and i think i'm right because it's so obvious like so obvious it's like in your face i just feel like it's so much longer than it has to be like there's so many separate conversations or little scenes that I just feel like aren't important to the story or don't need to be there and that's the thing with some fantasies I feel like some of them could be cut shorter and just would make it more entertaining and more fast-paced and would make me more interested in it but then there's another side where it's like okay well some people love this world and they want those extra hundred pages of the world you know there's like two sides to it my side is that i don't really like the extra detail and the extraness of it because I, I get bored easily but it's definitely picked up from the first like 200 pages more is happening more is going on i still just don't understand it i understand what's going on i just don't understand the point of it i guess you could say but i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna try to read like a lot today i've already read a ton today but i want to see how far i can get it's a challenge to myself is to read a good chunk of this book so we'll see how it finishes maybe i'll finish it today probably won't but we'll see if i do and we'll see how it ends if my opinion changes i don't think it's gonna get too much higher but we'll see finished from blood and ash last night i'm very happy that i finished it and that this book is over i ended up rating this a solid three star 
solid like anything higher than that is just not how i felt and anything lower feels too low even though i didn't really enjoy it that much i just i felt like i didn't really connect with any of the characters so like the whole story reading it i didn't really feel anything towards them so when things would happen or crazy events would go on it was like, like i didn't care really like yeah the story got interesting it did which was a plus definitely got interesting things were happening things were making more sense i just feel like the time it took to get to the end of the book and find all that out was just way Way too long personally i think if this book was cut down like 300 pages and then what i assume is in the second book and i'm assuming that one's long too is cut and put into like one book would have been so amazing like the end of this just angered me because then i'm like well now i want to know what happens i'm not gonna i'm gonna look up a spoiler or something i cannot read this i just i don't think i liked her writing like we would read a whole event that would happen a whole long chapter which the chapters are very long like a whole 20 minute chapter of an event that took place something crazy happened and then the next chapter it'll take like eight pages to describe what happened in extreme detail and i'm like like i was there like i read that with you i was in the scene with you like i know what happened you don't have to recap and go through everything again i don't know it was just like it got really descriptive and i know like i said like some people like that which is why i feel like a three is very fair because i can see why people love this book and why they would think this is very entertaining they're very intrigued by the story personally i just didn't connect with it i didn't connect with the storyline i feel like it was way too long but again i could see why people like it so that's why i feel like three is it was a mid book it was very mid so yeah i don't think i'm going to continue the series i do think that it's it's entertaining at some points but then you have to go through 100 pages of like not anything happening you know so it just didn't feel worth it to me but yeah that was our first book three it wasn't bad it just wasn't amazing and i think i just had like really high hopes for it because so many people gave it very high ratings like even on goodreads it has really high ratings but yeah i'm gonna pretend this is a standalone i'm not gonna go further into the series i'll probably look up a spoiler of what happens in the second one because the way this ends i'm like okay where do we go from here you know but yeah i think that is the end of my from blood and ash journey but i'm happy i read it I'm happy i got to this one because it is very popular now it's time to go back into our brackets but i'm feeling if i weren't to read fantasy right now i kind of want to read a thriller i'm in that kind of mood so we're gonna do that book bracket okay into the water black water rising okay similar titles i haven't heard of these i'm gonna go into the water i like that cover local woman missing people like her i feel like i've heard of local woman missing and i heard it was good unmissing wrong place wrong time i'm gonna go wrong place wrong time <gasps> the maid i heard that was good i actually have that book too when no one is watching i'm gonna go with the maid then she was gone. I have this book too. And before I had it, every time I went to Target, I would read the summary of it. I would be so intrigued. It's like the daughter goes missing, but then she sees someone 10 years later that looks just like her daughter. So I'm intrigued. And then you. I mean, I'm gonna go. Then she was gone. A Half Flicker in the Dark. Also heard this is like a five-star thriller. And then it's really, really good. So The Widow. I haven't heard of it. So I'm gonna be biased because I've heard of Flicker in the Dark. And I'm gonna go with that one. Before I go to sleep, The Chain. Why do these ones sound creepy? I'm gonna go with The Chain. I don't like that cover the housemaid love that book um i have sharp objects i heard it was like very interesting um local woman missing the maid okay this one's hard because i don't know i've been intrigued by then she was gone for a very long time so sharp objects i'm gonna go with the maid i don't know i know of a scene in sharp objects and i just like i don't know if i could do it so i'm gonna go then she was gone okay the maid is i'm pretty sure does she find something when she's cleaning something I don't know. That was a very vague description, but I think I'm going to go with Then She Was Gone. Because I've been literally wanting to read this for so long, I just haven't gotten to it. So, thumbs up for this filter giving me that. I'm very excited. I also have the book, which is a plus. Yay to our next read. Thank you, Book Talk Filter, for choosing this one. Actually, I chose it, but, like, thank you for giving me these options. I have it right here. It's in my... Honestly, this is, like, my more immediate TBR. This little shelf cubby's right here, and this is in it. So I'm very excited. Again, it's about this daughter who goes missing, and her mom sees a girl that looks just like her 10 years later. And I'm, like, very intrigued by that. I'm very excited to start this. I haven't read a thriller in a while. I've been reading just way too much fantasy, so I feel like my detective skills may be off. I may be a little dusty on that. So we'll see if I can figure this one out. I'm very excited. I feel like it'll be a good break before I get back into fantasy again after this video. Let's start. Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. Jewell? Jewell? I think it's Jewel. I don't know, but I'm excited. bit 
tonight. I haven't read too much this morning, but I got to page 140. Here's some of my thoughts. I love her writing style. Her writing style is reminding me a lot of Alice Feeney, which we know I love. One of my favorite thriller mystery authors literally of all time. The storyline's not really how I feel Alice Feeney would write. There's not too many plot twists as I feel like I get in Alice Feeney books, but a few I just got to. Not plot twists, but things like come up that I like kind of theorize a little bit. So it's like, that's kind of fun. But yeah, her writing is really, really, really fast paced and I like where it's going. It's definitely keeping me intrigued. And that's the thing I love about a good thriller mystery. It's like you can't put it down because you want to know how it ends and you want to know what happened. I probably won't finish it tonight. I'll probably get a good chunk of it done because I'm like very intrigued to know what's going on and what all these connections are. It's a lot different than I expected it would be reading the back of it. I had a different kind of expectation from reading the back of it, but it's, it's giving this, but like there's a lot of different factors involved in this that I really need to know how this all connects more than it is. I have like 10 different theories running around my head right now. I will let you guys know if I'm correct on any of them. One of them I was. But yeah, the daughter of the guy she's seeing is giving creepy. She's pretty creepy. Also very sus. Everyone is sus. You can't trust anyone, which is like the best part because everyone's suspicious. I'm excited to keep reading. I'm very entertained, which is the most important part. All good things. I'm excited to continue. I'm excited to see what happens. Let's see where this goes. I will come back with further updates. I finished this book yesterday. I started it yesterday morning and I finished it last night. I have not had the urge to binge a book as much as I did with this book. I have not read, I mean, I read a book probably as fast previously at some point in my life, but I don't remember the last time that I read a book that fast. I couldn't put it down. Literally couldn't put it down. If you take Frida McFadden's storyline writing style and mix it with Alice Feeney's writing style, you kind of get this. And it was just like so like what's the word encapsulating is that the word i'm thinking of that seems like it's not it but i just i was like i needed to know how it ended and the end it was really good because it wasn't like you're waiting for one big plot twist to come no it's like a story that's being told and like the sequence of events that go on of what happened to her daughter and it's just it's not what i expected it to be it kind of was more deeper than just like a surface level thriller slash mystery it definitely had more to it which i really really liked ending it got me i really liked the ending there were some parts of it that i did guess and i did see coming but like aside from that it didn't even bother me like i guessed some other points like i still just like i enjoyed it so much i will say that the beginning a little bit slow to get into but i feel like there's a few thriller mysteries like sometimes you need to like get the build up of the story and like see where it's gonna go a little bit but yeah after the first like 50 ish pages it just i couldn't put it down i like needed to know what happened because it was so like not what i expected but then as it went on like i kind of figured some stuff out but i still like the ending it got me good it got me good and i really enjoyed it so I'm still sitting between a four and a half and a five star. Sometimes when I read a book like really fast, I don't have time to kind of like process what I read and kind of grasp what I read. So I'm gonna rate this one at the end of the video, but right now it's sitting between a four and a half and a five star. So either way it was really good. So clearly, I just cannot believe how quick I went through this and how quick I read it and how much I needed to know what happened. Thumbs up for this one. I'm very happy that I finally picked this up because I haven't been in a thriller mood, obviously. And if I didn't do this little video, I wouldn't have read it. This is really fun. I was looking at the different genres on there and I think we're gonna do the YA book bracket because I don't wanna do a romance. And I think the YA one has more options of genres in it, if I remember, because I've, I've done these brackets like for fun. And the romance one, I don't wanna be put in a slump. And I feel like if I read a regular romance right now, I'm just gonna be slumped out. So YA I feel like is safe because YA books are quick and I like a good YA. So that's what we're gonna do next. We'll see what we get. Let's let's start this. And this is really good because some of the books that are on here are like on my physical TBR. So I'm getting some books like red, which is really nice. Okay, YA book bracket. Let's do this. Cruel Prince, I already read that. What does that say? The Wrath and the Dawn. We're gonna have to go with that. Oh, okay. I have both of these. So everything, everything. I think it's a movie. And I think I know the gist of it. I actually think I know the ending of it. I feel like I like looked it up a little when it, the movie came out because I'm very intrigued by the storyline. And then I just read Once Upon a Broken Heart and The Ballad of Never After, which are two books that a third is coming out and it's in the same world as Carnival. It kind of takes place after the Carnival trilogy, but I didn't read the Carnival trilogy before, which you don't have to. I didn't. But I said I want to go back and read the Carnival trilogy because I want to see like what took place before and like what happened, how we got to where we got for Once Upon a Broken Heart. So I feel like that'd be fun. I also have both of these books, so... I think I'm gonna go Carvel though. I think that'd be fun. The Hunger Games. I actually have never read The Hunger Games. I have watched it. And then The Knife of Never Letting Go. I've never heard of this, but I kind of would like to read The Hunger Games. 
they both die at the end i've heard a lot about this i don't know if i want to cry i don't know if this is a sad book from the essence i'm getting of it seems sad and legend board i heard was really really good and we all know i'm in a fantasy mood the darkest minds and pet i have not heard of these the darkest minds looks a little scary but what the heck what's pet about i'm gonna go with the darkest minds okay all the bright places i read that book i really liked that book twilight i actually just bought the other day because i really want to reread it i read it in like fourth or fifth grade and i don't really remember much from it so i feel like i need to brush up on my twilight so we're gonna go twilight okay what did i just pick oh i didn't mean to do that it's shatter me i already read shatter me can i keep going i'm gonna keep going oh I don't know what was next to it. We Were Liars already read. Iron Widow. I'm gonna go Carnival. I thought it'd be fun to reread like the world. Hunger Games or Legendborn? I really want to read both. But I already know Hunger Games, so Legendborn. I'm gonna go Twilight. I want to reread Twilight so bad. I can't believe I picked Shatter. I can't believe. I can't believe I picked Shatter. I didn't mean to do that. Um, Iron Widow, obviously. Which one do I do? Legendborn, I heard it's just so good. But I really want to read Carnival. I think I'm gonna go Carnival. Okay. Twilight. Such a, like an odd, an odd two to end with. I think I'm like really in the mood to see what carnival was all about plus like the whole setting and the the scenery of it is just so magical okay we have our winner we're reading carnival i actually have this book like i said and i'm really excited because i feel like one i love stephanie garber's writing the way she can create the world the one that i read is so just beautiful it's magical it's so fairy tale, and i really enjoyed that and i liked being in that world so i'm very excited to see how she started it and how she kind of built up that world which is gonna be very fun to see okay so scarlet gets an invitation to see carnival but when they arrive her sister was kidnapped by carnival's mastermind organizer and it now revolves around tella i'm excited and now i feel like i can see if i needed to read this before I read Once Upon a Broken Heart, which I still stand by. I don't think I did because I completely understood it, but we shall see. I'm very excited. Hi guys, Carvel update. It's taken me quite a bit to read up to page. I'm on 140. The beginning is really slow and I feel like I saw this coming because the world that she had to build is just incredible, especially the Carvel trilogy because of the whole game thing. But I can't fault her because her imagination, her creativity in just this storyline and this world alone is just crazy. While I'm reading this, I'm listening to a Carvel playlist that I found on Spotify and so many of the songs are from The Greatest Show because I guess it's the same vibe and I'm just like I kind of want to watch that after I read this now I have not seen it so anyway so far so good nothing has really happened she's just gotten to Carnival Scarlet and she just found out what the game is about basically about her sister as we knew from the back of it so I'm hoping now it picks up I'm hoping today I'm gonna read a chunk of it and I'm gonna see how the game works see all the magic and I'm very excited for that I just had to kind of push through the first like 100 pages it's not bad it was just slow to get to where we are right now and I don't know I don't love Scarlet who's the main sister it's in her point of view she's just like i don't know what it is i feel like she could grow on me though i'm gonna try to read a lot today see how i feel after that maybe it'll pick up a bit i'm hoping now that we're in the game things are gonna get crazy i will let you guys know finally finish Carvel. This took me, I feel like, way too long to finish, and I don't know if that's a bad thing or, like, I was just busy. I don't know if it's the book or if it was me. Maybe it was a mixture of the two. I think I'm gonna rate this three and a half stars. It wasn't bad, okay? It wasn't a bad book. I just feel like after reading Once Upon a Broken Heart and The Ballad of Never After and just knowing her writing from those books, I don't know, this didn't feel like how her writing was in those books, so I didn't absolutely love it. I did love the whole storyline. The ending was really good. The first half was very slow to get into, but once she's in Carnival, once she's doing things and meeting all these 
these characters it gets fun the ending definitely picks up and like lots of things are revealed which is fun i am happy that i ended up reading this to see how this world is set up and i feel like i have to go even further into the little trilogy and read the second and the third to get even more into the world so i think eventually maybe before the third book after the battle never after comes out i will read the second and the third in this trilogy just not anytime soon. It's not my favorite, but it is definitely very creative, very fun, very magical, and it's such a fun world. Like, Stephanie Garber's creativity, like I said, is just crazy. But yeah, I think that's the end of this video. I'm only gonna do three different genres, but as a little wrap-up, this was so fun. I want to do this again, but with other genres in the little TikTok brackets that they have, because there's so many, but it was so fun. I love when other things or other people pick my books for me. Shout out TikTok filters for choosing these reads. Technically, I chose them, but shout out filters for having the options from Black and Ash. I feel like I read this so long ago, but I ended up giving this, I think, three stars. I didn't really connect with it, so it wasn't my favorite. I didn't really love it. I feel like it was too long for what it was about and the ending. I don't know. Not my favorite. Then I read Then She Was Gone. I still don't know if I'm gonna give this four and a half or five stars. I think I'm leaning more towards four and a half. I don't know. I read it so quick. It was so good. Loved the storyline. Loved the ending. Loved the writing style. I just don't know exactly how I want to rate it. We'll see in my wrap-up. Carol, obviously, three and a half. I didn't really connect with Scarlet, who is the main sister in this. I heard that the second, and I don't know if the third, but the second is in her sister Donatella's point of view. Well, it's third person, but like her story. So I'm interested for that when I do end up reading it. But yeah, I didn't really connect with Scarlett. So like anything she was like feeling or talking about, I was kind of like not really connecting with. But shout out TikTok filters. You guys should try this. This was so fun. Highly recommend. Let me know any other video recommendations or requests you guys have. Let me know if you want me to do this again with other genres. I feel like that could be really fun. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Bye.